if you recognize who this is. It's our tortoise Fred. He's been living on grass and plantain, and uh, here, sometimes cucumber and lettuce, which he rather likes. He very nearly had a bad bite the other day when he approached a little bit near a dog that was uh, eating a bone, and the dog took a snap. And he got a nasty graze, but uh, luckily nothing worse than that. We've also put water out for him, but I've noticed that even though it's been terribly hot lately, he hasn't touched it at all. But the warm weather's certainly been making him very lively, and he's building up lots of reserve for when he goes into hibernation, which might perhaps be in about a month's time. Depends on the weather, of course. If I can find ours, this is the one. Wake up. Oh, he says, don't disturb me. And let's take a closer look at him. He's very sweet, and he's only three weeks old. Very tiny, and he's not used to being taken so far away from home. Well, let's have um, a look at some of the points about Siamese cats. First of all, uh, when they're born, they're usually about three ounces. In fact, this one was three ounces, which is a tiny bit larger, I think, than usual. And it was only eight and a half inches long. It's now 11 and a half inches long, and it's gone up to 14 ounces. And here he is, about to make his very first television appearance. So, Pete, if you give me a hand, we'll open the box. It's very lively, isn't it? Here we are. Hello. Hello, Hello. fellow. Whoa. And out he goes. Right and straight round behind my legs. There you are. Come on, pup. He's a good boy. Come on, up here. Come on. Yes. Straight to your dad. There we are. I think he's a super little fellow, and I only hope I'll be able to train him uh, to be as half as obedient as uh, Jaff and Bonnie. Little Julius, oh, look. get look. up to say hello. <laughs> oh, that's and love. Petra oh, doesn't super. mind at all. <laughs> well, actually, I wouldn't fancy <laughs> Petra's chances if they really got going, as this one's tough. And this is a plain white albino long hair. Quite descriptive, you can see. Uh, there and this since it first appeared on Blue Peter two years ago it was crossed with this one that's looking at it at the moment or rather this breed which is a banded short hair and uh, the end result of that breeding was here we are this one a banded long hair it's official name long haired banded hamster very attractive indeed beautiful marks here on its back and uh, as I said very attractive indeed Land of hope and To achieve maximum grip and mobility, there are two essential preparation procedures. And the first one is to polish the tortoise to reduce the wind resistance so the air flows smoothly over the surface of the tortoise shell as it speeds along. And the second one is to really clean out those claws to achieve maximum grip and acceleration, particularly at the beginning of the race. Finally, Maggie and Jim were fitted with the Blue Peter team colours, and I must say, they looked a formidable pair. How about little, neat Bluebell, one of the world's smallest horses? Yeah, she's feeling very frisky indeed this afternoon. She was 38 centimetres when she was born on June the 1st, and she's only grown four centimetres since then. And she's unlikely to grow much bigger, because take a look at the size of a mum. Yes, come on mum, here's Sophie. Whoa. And Sophie is just three years old. And even though she's fully grown, she's only a mere 68.5 five centimetres. And even if Bluebell here hadn't grown one tiny bit after she was born, she still wouldn't have beaten the record because there's a horse in the USA which measures 35.5 <laughs> centimetres. Tiny though she is, she's proven a handful for you, Mike. She's going wild here. <laughs> mm. Let's have a look at you. You've had a nice feed, haven't you? Now, what are you? Oh, you're a little boy. We'll have to find some names for you and your brothers and sisters. Eight this time. We are going to be busy, aren't we? Call you Snowball. There's been lots of snow, hasn't there? Shrove Tuesday. I should call you Pancake. That's close. <laughs> we could always just call you Fred. And here she is, having a first look at the Blue Peter Studio. How are you up. doing, little petal? What there a beauty. we are. Yeah. She's so cute. Simon and Connie. Hello. hello. Say hello. Hello. She's what so What a adorable. beauty, aren't you? And isn't he doing very well because it's his first day away from his mum, his brothers and his sisters. You're a very brave lad, you are. It certainly is. OK, she's having a little chew there. <laughs> Stop it. So, Iggy, how does it feel to be part of the Blue Peter team? <coughs> Iggy, don't yawn, I'm trying to interview you. <laughs>